Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I'm going to talk to you about Helium Mobile. So it has been a while. Hope everyone is doing well. I know I've been gone for a long time, but uh, I was sick, and then I had a cough for like three months. I have no idea why I would cough for three months, but I did, and I was like, there's no way I'm making videos. But then something happened recently at the beginning of the month, which freaked me out, which we're going to talk about, and uh, well... That made me decide I better shoot something in the next couple weeks, so here I am. Uh, what I saw that freaked me out was this email that came out August 28th, or rather it was a notification uh, through your Helium wallet, and it said, Important! Coverage verification required starting September 5th from the Helium mobile team. The Helium community has approved HIP 131, a measure designed to ensure the integrity of the Helium network. Starting September 5, Helium Mobile hotspots providing coverage in hexes with an Oracle boost multiplier of 0.5 or higher will now require verification by Helium Mobile subscribers via cellular tower correlation to continue receiving proof of coverage rewards. CBRS radios have an extended deadline of September 18. Well, I freaked out because I did not want to have my uh, CBRS, more specifically of all of my devices, but I did not want that to be shut down. I didn't think the other two would be shut down, but um, I was worried about my CBRS. Um, so I figured I had till September 18th, which was just a couple days ago. Um, so I started figuring out what I needed to do in order to get that verification. And generally speaking, that means if you have an account here uh, with uh, Helium Mobile, which I do, I have uh, Hello Helium as my phone service. And uh, one of the beta programs, as you see, is CBRS radio testing. Uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, this does work provided you can do dual eSIMs and it was fine except a lot of the places that I went to where I should have been able to get CBRS service I could not and it was causing problems with me I would lose uh, lose the ability to get data easily because it would always jump to uh, the other SIM card and it just didn't work for me and uh, then I realized quite quickly that I didn't need it because if you recall, what it said here is uh, hotspots providing coverage in hexes with an Oracle Boost multiplier of 0.5 or higher. Well, if you go to that handy dandy Helium Geek, you can go in and check to see what your multipliers are. Uh, when I look at, for example, my indoor uh, Wi Fi hotspot, it is an Oracle multiplier of 0.4. When I go to my outdoor uh, Helium hotspot, which is uh, outdoor Wi-Fi, um, it is 0.46. And when I go to my CBRS, that is, well, with both radios, 0.35 and 0.36. So I didn't have issues. Happy to see that. And I said, okay, well, then let's, let's forget this dual SIM thing. I'm just going to go away and not even worry about it. Um, but then a couple days ago, around, uh, it was just a couple days after the 18th, I don't know what happens, but every once in a while I get disconnected and those heartbeat points that you see right there were, uh, well, I, I skipped maybe seven or eight heartbeats. And uh, I thought it was because I got banned. Because a lot of people who they couldn't prove, uh, they were, they were 0.5 or higher in the Oracle boosting multiplier, and they couldn't prove uh, that they could get a data signal uh, from someone with, well, and I'm only talking about CBRS right now, uh, but uh, coverage here, uh, uh, verification through someone who has the, the beta program turned on on their phone, um, well, they... Some of them got shut down, some of them improved it later, they argued against it, and they got back up again. I saw some of these examples. So like helpful, pistachio badger, as you can see there, POC ban lifted. Good for them. They got it lifted 3.2 days ago. So yay. What was interesting to me on this one is it is just a generic Wi-Fi indoor miner. 
what's the big deal? But yeah, no, I get it. Um, there are some people who are using those and were trying to cheat the system and uh, they needed to shut them down. Here was the other one, though, that I did notice. Helpful Blood Alligator was reporting this as an issue. And you can see right there, even though they're up and they're online and they're still trying to argue this and it's a generic Wi-Fi outdoor miner, they are banned. So, uh, yeah. Um, as it says here, that they've been banned uh, 4.3 hours ago due to no network correlation. So this is an interesting thing. They actually have uh, fixing information. Uh, to fix this, as a Helium Mobile subscriber, disable Wi-Fi calling, connect to the Helium Mobile network broadcast by your hotspot, and make a phone call to any number. After doing this, you, need to, you may need to wait up to one week until the band is lifted. Those who need to use the CBRS eSIM to connect to the radio, please check CBRS beta setup article on support.hellohelium.com site. And that's what I was saying to you. You're going to have to go and set the CBRS radio testing, join the program. There's a whole process through this. You have to do it if you're on an iPhone uh, through uh, specifically Safari. I forgot. I messed it all up because I didn't do it through Safari, so they didn't have the proper geo-gating. Um, there's a whole thing. If you want me to make a video about it, sure, but let me know in the comments. Um, to qualify for POC rewards, the location of the radio must be validated using call data records from Helium Mobile using users on the T-Mobile network. If CDRs are unavailable, or if the estimated location of the CDR differs from the radio's location, the radio will be banned from POC rewards. Nova authorized by HIP-131 to perform these checks. HIP-131. For, so for those of you who are not familiar, you can always go to your Helium wallet as soon as it opens up for me. Okay, it doesn't seem to like me that much right now, but here it is. Uh, so just a summary, this proposal amends the measure of HIP-125, the temporary anti-gaming measure for boosted hexes, to be extended to Oracle Hex Boosts, and furthers the expectation of HIP-118, the verification mapping for the no mobile network. So you can go through this whole thing, but basically, obviously, it's to try to stop gaming, and it's to verify that you are actually using uh, the uh, the Wi-Fi and uh, CBRS hotspots. I guess technically the CBRSs are not hotspots. But anyway, you are using them properly at the right location, doing what you say you are doing. So, I mean, I'm happy it's working for them. Uh, and for many of you, it's probably a boost. And it's weird for me because I didn't think that boost would go across to mapping, for example. So yes, you know, I use my phone, I map all the time. And way back before this happened, so it happened on uh, September, sorry, uh, August 29th. And as you can see on August 29th, I was only making, uh, through mapping on my phone, 4.99, 4.99 uh, mobile a day. And then it jumped to 8.52. So as soon as all this happened, it was 8.52, 8.53. It keeps going up, which is interesting. Uh, 8.67, 7.73, 7.65, 7.77, 7.75. Then it goes up to the 800s. Uh, then it starts going down. So I'm very curious, is that just because people were being found and shut down slowly over a period of time? I would have thought it would have happened all at once immediately, but I guess not. And then when the 18th happened for CBRS radios, uh, we didn't really see as much of a jump as I thought we would. So September 18th, I was getting uh, 741. It, it went down the next day to 725, then jumped up to 735, then jumped again to 769. And then just yesterday, it was at 785 mobile a day. So... Yeah, things are getting better from this. It means all of those gamers are going away and their mobile that they've been getting are finally being spread to the rest of us. Happy to hear it. Happy for everybody in that way. Um, if you want to jump over again 
Sorry, I got a lot of windows open here. And of course, Helium Geek of all places gets closed. I'm gonna open that one up. Oh, see, it was open. What's going on? Okay, anyway, uh, what I just wanted to show was, yes. So uh, for uh, Sour Purple Moose, uh, that is my, sorry, Sour Purple Mouse, that is my indoor Wi-Fi. I can just show you how things are going for that one in comparison. As you can see, uh, I'm not getting a lot of data transfer. I don't do data all the time in the house. Um, sometimes it just doesn't connect. Still haven't figured out why the problem is for that. But as you can see right now, where it was over 800 for having uh, the cell phone service of Helium Mobile, it is down to 663 uh, when it comes to the hotspot. So that's interesting. Obviously, if you actually have their phone service, you're going to get more mobile daily than if you have uh, their hotspot. On the flip side to that, though, if we go look at uh, the Salty Set and Baboon, which is my uh, outdoor Wi-Fi, it's not doing too bad. I'm trying to find, here we go, daily. There you go. So we're hitting around 8,000 right now. Um, back before all of this, we were getting low. We were getting more in uh, the 5,000s. But uh, yeah, we've gone, we've gone up to almost, almost 8,000. And I still think if you look at September 20th, it was over 8,000. So I'm not sure if things are going to go up or down or what's going to happen. I'm sure people are fighting the fact that they are not getting POC rewards. And so it could go up, could go down. It's fluctuating right now. We'll see. But amazingly enough, and this is what's kicking me today, is that my CBRS radios are not doing bad. I am like, uh, what does it say here for rewards? I'm like globally ranked at 216th, which, okay, I guess that is not that great. But, I mean, look here, just before the 30th, Sorry, yeah, uh, August August 31st, it was still around 2,000. Same with September, uh, sorry, 20,000. Same with September 1st, September 2nd, September 3rd. And then all of a sudden around September 5th, it jumped from 20,000 to over 30,000. Now it's still around over 30,000. So, you know, CBRS is still doing well. I don't know how long that's going to last. Like I said, I had... The beta tried it out, wasn't working that well. Quite frankly, I feel like I'm agreeing with other people. Uh, CBRS, unfortunately, is not a great service, um, and they're probably going to end it, and then that means no more rewards, but I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. All right, and if anybody's asking, by the way, uh, why do I do all of this, which probably none of you do, it's because I like to make movies. And you're gonna see some of the movies that I've been shooting for the past year um, using uh, my, <laughs> my crypto that I earn. I take that money and then I use it to pay for my need to make short films. So please go ahead, check some, some of them out. In fact, here is a quick scene right here of me being shot in the head. Fine, Hugo. Would you just chill? Yeah, Hugo. Chill. I wasn't even supposed to be in this film. Uh, I was just doing audio, and at the very last second, uh, my buddy said, hey, um, my actors aren't going to show up. Can you just get shot in the head? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? Um, but uh, if you want to watch that film, I put a link into the description, as well as a link that if you do want to get a... Uh, cell phone service through uh, Helium Mobile, uh, using that link should give you a 30 days free trial to try it all out and see if it works. And there is another link if you do plan to buy any of their um, hotspots. But I don't think you get anything, which I don't really get. I mean, if someone's gonna wanna use the link, they probably think they're gonna get like a 5%, 10% discount. I'd rather you have that, but for some reason they're not giving that to me. Anyway, who knows? Well, hey, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. Um, feeling like I'm just rambling these days, but uh, I will try to get back in the swing of things. If there is stuff you'd like to hear about, uh, I'm happy to talk to you about it. I will be talking about uh, Dymo and um, 
Sword Chain, and some of the other products that I've been using now uh, during this summer and how well I fared with them. So anyway, this is just in case. Have a great day.